Hi everyone, welcome back to Carrie Kirby Creates and today's inspiring quote of the day is Children can see magic because they look for it. Very nice. In today's video, I'm going to be using these two new dies that were sent to me by Life's Crafts and they'll be linked below in the description box along with a 25% discount code for anybody who'd like to purchase them. So I'm going to be using a couple of sheets of the 30 GSM um, heavy weight cardstock. This one is a smooth white. And this one is the linen effect, I think you can see there. And my card base is an 8x8 pre-made card base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out of the packages and I'm just going to separate them. And I'm just going to take off the little bits. You know, these little, um, like you can see it there, this little bit. Just remove them. I'm going to go ahead and run them through my Gemini die cutting machine. But first of all, I'm just going to pop a bit of tape to hold them in place. Just so that they don't move around and go on top of each other during the cutting process because you can cause damage to your dies that way. So let's see. Just takes a minute and ensures that your dies stay safe. There we go. That's just a forget me not. I'm going to leave them not sure values that we'll see later on. But I'm going to come along and just pop them out of the little dies. And they should pop out easily enough. Yeah, they're beautiful. So what I want to do with this one actually is I want to go back in and run that through another two times and possibly might do another few of the other ones as well. They're beautiful. Plenty of room on that sheet for what I want. I want to do this one a third time so I still have room down there. That was just the one A4 sheet. So I've gone ahead there and I cut everything out twice. And what I want to do next is come along and colour them in. So I've got some nice inks that I'm going to use. I'm going to do the leaves first. So I've got the Spectrum Noir Harmony. They're watery active dye inks. And this one is Spring Meadows. I've got Grasshopper and Jade Green. And... I'm going to just come in and pop a bit of colour on the leaves. 
I'm going to use these small brushes and I'm going to start with the lightest colour first. Um, let's see, this one is the Spring Meadows. So I just want to, let's put the flowers over there. I'm going to actually start with these. Now the jade, the jade green is actually a metallic pigment, but it's going to be perfect for what I'm looking for. And it's a beautiful color. I love the color of it. So I've just popped them on the glass mat so that it doesn't matter if I make a mess. It's easy to wipe it up. So next I'm coming in with the grasshopper and I'm just going to wipe this off. Just a bit of kitchen towel there that I can clean it off on. So I want to come in with these little leaves now and pop that down. And like that, when you're doing it with the brush, you find that, I'll just show you this one up close, pardon me, you don't get a perfect, you know, it's not like colouring with markers or paints. And I quite like that, you know, pieces of it are missed. It kind of makes it a bit more realistic in my opinion. So I'm quite enjoying using these little brushes for this purp purpose because I'm not... I'm not good at colouring in or shading or anything like that. And I just kind of find that this already gives it. Sorry, I just kind of find that this already gives it a bit of shading anyway. Now, let's see. I've got, I'll do these two. So I pop that darkest part there in the center of those. And I'm just hitting it out towards the edge now with the with the light ink that's left. I think it kind of makes it look fairly realistic. So I'm pleased with those. Let's see, just take the green off now and next I'm going to come in with the little flowers 
So I want to make these nice and bright. So let's see, I've got some oxide inks here. Um, I think I'll use the squeezed lemonade and the spice marmalade. Maybe a bit of the crackling campfire as well, we'll see. So just pop my lid back on there. I'm going to use the larger brush for that. These little ones. I'm just going to pop a little bit of the the J green onto the leaves. And I think I'll use the crafting campfire for the flower. Now I know that these colours may not necessarily be what you would see on these flowers in the wild but they're just what I feel like putting on them for today and yeah they're the colours that I want to use. So let's see just these couple of leaves they'll probably go in here and there so I may as well go to the bother of Putting a bit of ink down on them as well. Let's see what colour will we go in. I think we'll use the grasshopper. I'm going to actually come back in here, I think, on these where the little flowers are with the seedless preserves and let's see I'm going to use this little brush just going to clean the orange off of it I need to get some more of these brushes yeah that should be okay and I'm going to pop some of that I think down just to give it a bit more colour So they're all coloured the way that I want them. The next thing I want to do is go and wash my hands and I'm going to work on the base, excuse me, of the base of the card. So as I said previously, I'm using an 8x8 card base. So I came along, I have cut this piece of white linen cardstock just down to about a quarter of an inch smaller on each side so that it will layer nicely. 
and I actually thought I was filming but it didn't turn out so I'm just going to show what I did to create a bit of interest in the background of this without using embossing folders or putting any colour in it. I just popped it down on my scoreboard and I've came out here to the inch mark and I just turned it. Now the cardstock is upside down but I've just came along, I've scored it all around on each side of the four sides and I've ended up with this, um, you can see it there. It's just to create that bit of interest in the background. So the next thing I want to do is just pop that onto my card base and I'm going to use just some double sided tape for that. I think that will be plenty. These cameras can be tricky. You think that they're on and the next thing you realise you're not recording. Anyway, it was only for a minute or two. So I'm just checking that my card has turned the correct way and it is. So I'm coming in now and I'm popping that down. And trying to get it even on each side. Now some of you commented there recently on one of my videos. You also find this tricky. Sometimes it doesn't go straight, you know, but I think that that's fine. No, and I'm kind of leaning across as well, which probably doesn't help. The next I'm coming back in with my leaves and my flowers. So let's see, we'll pop them there take away the glass mat because it, it kind of causes a glare and the reason I cut out the three of these is that one broke but I want to kind of create a wreath with them as they're rounded I thought it would be very pretty where's the rest of there it is there the rest of that little one so I want to get my placement correct, first of all. And you know what? That's even pretty just on its own if you never used anything else, isn't it? But we'll come in and fill it out anyway. Let's see. Just coming in with my glue. And I'm using the glossy accents just because I like it. It's my preference. Um, we'll start with this one. Now, I don't need glue everywhere, but kind of the bigger areas, see, like the flower and them, because I don't want the whole thing solid down, but just to pop a bit here and there where it will go. Any larger areas. So let's see. I'll use. This little tweezer, I think. And yeah, we'll make a start with that one. Like I said, you don't need a whole load of glue. Just want to. Yeah. There we go. Our weather is beginning to pick up a bit, but it's still very cold. 
we've even last week was a beautiful week and we didn't put the heat on in the evenings because it wasn't necessary I've just found the last few nights now again it's been very cold and we've had to have heat on so but look it's not raining the way it had been so I can't complain about that but it would be nice if the temperature began to pick up a little bit let's see Now, it might not look perfectly symmetrical, but I think that that's fine. You know, isn't that beautiful? Wouldn't that make a beautiful car just with a happy birthday or whatever on it? Anyway, we're going to go that step further and we're going to come in and use what we've got here. So I'm just coming in and playing around to see where I want to put things. I'm kind of popping the leaves down first and I don't want to cover up the whole background because it's quite pretty let's see maybe I should kind of go on the outside a bit I think that one may be here So as to kind of keep what's there, you know. At least those ones won't cover anything up. Yeah, I'm going to come and pop them down first, I think. Again, just a bit of glue here and there. And let's come and have a little play with the, the flowers. It's adding a nice bit of colour there, I think. And our last two little ones. Oops. Yeah, I think that that'll be nice.
And by putting the glue just in the middle, it means that the, the little flower petals can still, can still move, you know, maybe there with that one. Let's see, maybe. Just want to make it look balanced, really. Yeah, about there, I think. And I can come back in afterwards and lift a few bits and pieces so that they're not flat. And I have these little leaves. I'm just going to stick them in around here and there. Um, let's see. Maybe just pop one here. Just fill in a couple of areas, maybe there. A bit too much glue gone on that one. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll go underneath with that one. Yeah. So, and I'm thinking with these flowers, I want a little pop of the spice marmalade in the centre. So I'm just going to come back in there with the ink. Just add that little pop. Yeah, I like that. Makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? And it adds a bit more definition and colour to it. So I've decided I'm going to have this little die with sister written on it and a, a shadow background. And... I've decided I'm going to do it. I have four sisters and there's always a birthday coming up. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm coming in. Just going to pop a bit of colour down. Just the same kind of colours, really. Let's see. It doesn't matter if it's even or not. Just 
just want to make sure that there's enough there to cover the whole world. Now just a tiny pop more down there. And yep, that should do that nicely. And I think I'll leave the background white. So I'm just going to run that through the die cut machine. And I'm popping those out. Oops. So there we are, and thankfully the little eye is part of that. Yeah, that's a nice colour combination. I could come in and add a bit more if I wanted, but yeah, I think that that looks quite pretty. There, so what I want to do is just pop a tiny bit, and for that I'm going to use this little precision nib. Let's see, yeah. Just get a little bit of glue out of there and pop it down. Use that little tweezers and come in and that looks good there, I think. Yeah, that's quite nice. So coming back in with my card, and I think I'm going to pop that in the middle. So what I'm going to do is use a little bit of double-sided foam tape. I'm just going to cut a couple of strips of that. Let's see. Maybe just cut that again. It's just going to make it pop that little bit when I put it down. Give it a little bit of a 3D effect. They're very sticky. Um, Foam tape that one, which I guess is a good thing. But let's see. Just going to lay it lightly first. And yeah, I'm very pleased with that. And I'm going to come in with this little happy birthday stamp. And I think I'm going to use my stamping platform because I really like this card and I don't want to, I don't trust myself to get it right first go. So let's see. We'll pop you down there in the corner. And. Sorry. Let's just make sure that you don't move. Just want to get that straight. Let's come and pick it up. So I'm going to ink that up with my reliable Versafine Claire in the Nocturne. Let's just pop a bit of ink on it there. And at least if I don't get a first go, I can do it again. And again, I'm not pressing too hard, like I always say with, with writing. If you squash it, 
it distorts the image and it looks very good. And if I had done that by hand, I would have been very pleased. But as I've got the platform out, I'm just going to pop it down again lightly. Yeah, perfect. Very, very pleased with that. So that's my finished card. And I'm very, very pleased with how that's turned out. Yeah, I'm delighted with that. They're beautiful dies. And I would recommend them. And as I've said before, I'm not getting paid for any of these tutorials, but I do get sent the dies for free from the company. So obviously my opinion is my own completely and entirely. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much. Have a great day.